<clears throat> Welcome to my stream. Following total atomic annihilation, the Fallout 4 of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at Vault Tech have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Today we will focus on strength. <laughs> In the wasteland, essential supplies will be scarce. When an item of value is found, keep it close and away from bullies. The stronger you are, the more you can carry. Be sure to know your limits, or you may find it challenging to escape from hazardous scenarios, no matter how strong you are. There are other situations where you may find yourself in close proximity to unfriendly neighbors. For such cases, you must learn to defend yourself using your natural strength. Use anything sharp or sturdy enough to swing. Get creative with your implement, but stay reasonable and look for anything that can further enhance your innate vigor. The greater your strength, the greater <laughs> the impact. But remember, some moments require more than muscle. Keep doing your chin-ups and push-ups because there's more strength can do for you. Swing for the fences like the pros, crafting specialized protective gear to keep or building clever weapons to wield it. Regularly study your vault tech provided materials to prepare for survival. And to answer the question, do you know what makes you special? Okay, so this is Fallout 4. I started a game, got pretty far in it, and I realized that if you start a new game just to kind of see the opening credits again, it wipes all that out. So what we're going to do is we'll start from beginning again. Um, I'm going to move pretty quick this time around since I kind of know what I'm doing. We're going to go after a fat man after this. Not this fat man, but the fat man in the game. Those of you who know... what a fat man is, know that it is awesome. So while we got some time, this is loading, I'll tell you this is played on a 14 inch laptop with a 1600 by 900 resolution. It's running a GeForce uh, GT 650M uh, graphics card, 2 gigabyte with a GDDR5, uh, I forgot what all that is anyway, who cares. Uh, it's got a 3630 QM processor at 3.4 gigahertz. It's Ivy Bridge. Uh, and the game requirement said that you need 8 gigabytes of RAM. This has only got 6 currently. I'm going to fix that. Um, here we go. I'm kind of upset that Ron Perlman's not doing the opening scene. Ron Perlman does the opening scene for every Fallout, except for this one. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. 
people enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, son because of my time in the army taught me one thing it's the war war never changes okay so we're gonna make this guy, you know, most people try to make it look like themselves or maybe something really cool. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veteran's hall time, huh? This is one of the most unique features Absolutely. of the game. You can make him Get ready and any way you want to look. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing this. We're just gonna breeze through it. Do you have eyes like mine? Well, let's change you around a little bit. Uh, okay. Nope. 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 He kind of looks like me a little bit. The eyes got to change. So, face. Here we go. See what I mean? You can change like any aspect of this thing if you haven't messed with this thing already. I mean, it's incredibly in depth. It's ridiculous. Uh, you can spend all day doing that. Uh, let's see, eyes, whoops, um, uh, That's the reason I said yes when you asked me now. Oh, really? Well, I've got hazel eyes. And, let's see. I got like a fro going on. I normally keep my hair kind of low. So what we'll do is we'll hit the style. Pick something that we kind of want. I wish they did more with the hair on this game than... They did. I mean, it, it really makes a difference. Um, that's definitely not me. That's like some trailer shit right there. Uh, like I said, I got a fro, but not really. My clippers broke, so I got to go get some more. I kind of like that Urban Ranger one. This is what the main character normally has. Uh, I could probably pull that off too if I tried, but me. I want to say there's some way to change it during in the game, but I haven't run across it yet. I uh, will go back to that one I liked. I mean. It's not me, but it's it's pretty cool. This new haircut's really working for me. Is that right? Uh, facial hair. I usually, well, broken razor. Uh, Playboy, huh? Alright, so. I like that mustache. <laughs> you. No. No. Um. Hmm. 
That's usually me right there, so we'll we'll go with that. Uh, for now. Ooh, mustache. Very cool. I ain't got a mustache on there, lady. Alright, so this is about what we're gonna do with it. I mean, I'm not gonna do too much more. Let's just let's just finish this dude. Alright, so uh, body. As you can see, I've got no shirt on, but I mean, I'm not not too bad, right? So we're gonna make him probably not that muscular. Ooh, I'm not that wide either. Uh, yeah, that's fine right there, I guess. Um, extras. E. Markings, blemishes, damage. So you can do like, you can make your guy a hideous freak if you really want to, but I've got a scar above my right eye that I got from a dog bite. It's not quite like that one, but not bad. Wait a minute. Ugh. Let me find it again. Right there. Okay, space supply. Accept. Escape back. Let's get this over with. I'm, I'm tired of being in this thing. Okay. Here we go. So this is before the bombs dropped. There's a Mr. Gutsy over there. Your son, Sean, is in here. He's actually the reason you go wandering in the wasteland. As you can see, this is all kind of 50s era. Grog Nectar by Brian in the jungle of the Bat Babies. It's my favorite. Thanks, Padre. Alright, come on. Come on, I'm tired of this. Let's get moving. What's the newspaper saying? Mm. More of the same. Will you pull that out of your ass? Would you? Hey, hi. Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get to Here he comes. Always be worried someone coming to your door selling something. Can you get that? Oh, I got it. Good morning. Ball tech calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <coughs> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Right. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Mm -hmm. 
But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Mine is your robot place. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let him throw it out, and it's done. Oh, you devil. <sighs> You're right. Let's get it over with. Just need to get this pesky info all squared away. The cool thing about this game is they uh, actually, their voice actors have recorded, oh, I forgot how many it was, uh, come on now, trying to, trying to divvy up my points here, there we go, whoops. Well balanced, right? That's the way I like it. Okay. Wonderful. That's everything. I'm just gonna walk this over to the wall. But anyway, if you type in your name, uh, chances are they're gonna be able to sell it in there, you know, or say it back Thanks to you. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? Watch. For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. See? But he absolutely refuses to call down. I think he needs some of that maternal attention. Come on. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? It's been the mobile a bit. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for her. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, come and see this. Oh. Uh, what's wrong? Let's go. Followed by. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh, we, no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. That kind of sounds like Ron Perlman. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Whee! Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? Everything you know, they didn't say our names, right? Or even ask for them. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. 
Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! There it is. Hold on! Mm-hmm. So anyway, give me a little history on these things. The vaults, they're all over the you know country and probably even the world, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they tell people they're going to keep them safe, you know, away from the nuclear fallout. You know, you can outride it for generations. <laughs> Problem is, everyone, each... please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. Yeah. A better future underground. Whatever. So anyway. Step over to the table. Take a seat. Just step over to the table. Welcome. Pick up a seat right over there. This way. This uh, way, please. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor's lead. He'll show you where to go. Oh, shut up. Follow me. So anyway, what they don't tell you in these vaults is they're running their own little experiment. Each vault has a different experiment. Like one had a, one guy per, it's like 999 women. Uh, another vault uh, did like a plant research. Uh, the plants ended up taking over the place and like swallowing humans. Anyway, uh, this one they freeze you. Here's me. Just step in here and put your vaults in. Yeah. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper. Just a few. Bunch of lies. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Jack, right? That dude. Well, we're gonna do bad things. That person would catch up to him. But anyway, more on that later. Yeah. 
Here we go. Come on! That has to be a release! Thing in there? Nope. Let's get moving. I need a weapon. <coughs> you would think you would, you know. Alright, do 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 do. Pack. We're gonna need that. That's how you heal yourself in this game. All right, let's go kill some roaches. Oh. Yep. Giant roaches. Damn right, giant roaches. This isn't the future. I've seen these in <laughs> all over the place. Not my house, though. Okay. There's nothing in here to take. If I'm not mistaken, we don't get a pistol until later on. Well, in this vault. Yeah. Okay. It's not going to be a pistol in the bathroom. At least I hope not. All right. Let's do it. Not going across there. Yep. Rocho. Where is everyone? More roaches. Here we go. Nice. El pistol. Eyeglasses. Another pistol. Bullets are good. Cool thing about this thing is, oh nice. yeah. Coming back later for you. Yeah. Tell you what, we're not gonna cheat in this game. Except for right now. Yeah. Cool thing about the uh, PC version is you got the console commands at your. Well, you can pretty much be a god, summon any kind of weapon you want, whatever. Spawn enemies. You pretty much have free run of the game. But I'm not feeling like coming back for that for one you gotta be a is this all that's left? A master lock picker. And I just don't get into that stuff. Let's go. Yeah. Alright. Coaches in a game or real life. Uh oh, uh oh. Hell, roaches. I know there's more. Uh, 
Alright. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? That's one of the coolest items in the game. I mean, it's old school, but man, it's awesome. That's a pit boy. The iconic vault tech. You see where things said 64k RAM? Alright. Let's get out of here. Okay, so typically you run into your town when you leave this place, this vault. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. It's a Yao Guai. Yeah. Those things will tear you a new one. Though it's funny, this is like the scariest creature in the game. It's actually a mutated chameleon. Right? I think you encounter one in the first, like, mission or two. We'll go find out. We're gonna stay up on a damn roof and shoot the thing. I ain't going down on the ground like last time. No. Okay. This thing saves for you all the time, which I really like, because you're going to die a lot in this game. I'm going to die a lot in this game. Okay. So, I mean, right from the get-go, they give you free roam just to, if you want to go, go. So, I mean, look, I mean, you can go anywhere you want. I didn't go up here last time. See, uh, in the old games, there was a bunch of crap that would clog up your, you know, inventory. You have a certain carry amount you can carry. Um, you know, at least have all this junk clogging up your stupid inventory. But in this one, you could take all that junk and recycle it into usable scrap in your home. Uh, this is your old neighborhood. Look familiar? There's Codsworth. As I live and breathe, oh, it's, it's really true. Yep. What happened? Uh -huh. Codsworth. Make the wrong button. What happened to the world? Besides, our Geronium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I am afraid. 
way things are going to dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Batty. Where is your better part right now? Hmm. 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 They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these terrible things, are, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire movement. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sure, he does so love that game. <laughs> it's the land Sean's been kidnapped, but I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger and used paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or give and take a little. The Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be happy. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I. I. Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. Nothing gets out of the floor after a final wardrobe. Nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house on the car. Oh, how do you call this frost? Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you were left in such a hurry. I thought the servant you and your family were dead. I did find this holiday. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a surprise. Then, oh, everything happened. Thank you, Pat. You're, you're welcome. Now, and I'm feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? This is a young Sean may turn up dead. All right. Lead the way. How to serve, sir? <laughs> What's all this? What's cool about this fallout is the, uh, well, there's so many things cool about it, but. Uh oh. But anyway, uh, right off the get go, you get a follower. Yeah, the old ones you had to follow people, uh, or pfft, follow people. You had to go find people. That was a big. So in this game, in the first five minutes, you can actually run and get yourself some power armor if you want to. Oh, shit. They're really gone, aren't they? Yes. 
Sean's out there, Codsworth. We need to find him. What about Compton, sir? The people there. Not to get checked. They only troubled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There are still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Do you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? You do that. Uh, let's not hunt for scraps or anything right now. Let's just go ahead and head that way. So anyway, uh, this here is where you're going to be doing a lot of stuff here. This is your main garage. You can upgrade weapons, things like that. Uh, here. Let's do some... Let's uh, scrap one of these dudes. See what I mean? Don't need that no more. Uh, righty. You'll be able to uh, upgrade weapons, things like that. Even upgrade your, like this whole town. You can make anything you want. Destroy houses, rebuild them. Like this thing has no use. So we're going to tear it down whenever we get that chance. Uh, well, considering I hate that vault jumpsuit, let's see if we can't put something else on. Probably not, though. Hmm. Well, let's keep going until we find something else. First raider we kill. We're getting some ugly raider gear. So, we have an option here. We can do the quest line and get the dog real quick and run down that town, help the Minutemen out. Or we can run and get some power armor real quick, which is what we're probably going to do. After we get the power armor, I'm going to stop one video and we're going to continue with the streaming. Uh, we'll just do it that way. So there's a dog over here. Where are you at, puppy? Bottle caps, by the way, are the currency in this game. I don't really care about all that. Bullets. Not bullets we need. Get their cigarettes. We don't need cigarettes. Hey, boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. There's our next companion. I rather like this dog. Of course, I'm a dog lover. We're about to get into a fight with some roll, roll mole rats. Here we go. Let's do it. Here they come. They're over here. We're going to probably need those. I guess I must have been mistaken. Well, that's good, because I really didn't feel like getting into a shootout with some rats anyway. Who you got here? Mosquitoes. Any mosquito that can take more than one bullet is scary. Look at these things. They were feasting on a Brahmin, which is a Cows. Cows are two-headed these days. 
So anyway, to get the power armor, they don't tell you any of this. I just kind of was looking around YouTube, internet, things like that, found this out. Uh, we can search that house later. There's a cave over here that's got something we need for the power armor to power up the power armor. It's a fusion core. That's how it's kind of like the gasoline for the power armor. What we're going to do is run in and run out of this place because I don't feel like shooting a bunch of rats. I'm getting all irradiated. Okay, so in we go. Run, 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 run. There it is. Now get the hell out of here. Go, dog, go, 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 go. We'll come back. Whoa! Come back and loot that place later. Uh, there's a couple, probably a couple things in there you might want, but nothing you need. You need that power core, though, or fusion core. So, alright, so you saw where the cave was. It's over here near this red rocket station. It's on the other side of it. Next, we head toward a satellite dish. Hopefully we won't run into those stupid moles up here. I don't feel like getting into a shootout, like I said. I just want to get this power armor and go. I typically play a character that sneaks around, things like that, but right in the beginning of the game, the power armor is... Oh, it's awesome. And plus, you're going to need it for the first Minutemen mission because they're going to want you to get that fusion core anyway. So, what we're looking for... Oh, by the way, you can't get in the water. It's all irradiated. All right. You see that? Oh boy, what is that up there? Oh, there's mole rats. You see him? Got one. Got two. Where's the other ones? Little asshole. Whoop! That's my dog. That's my dog right there. What I was saying is, I don't know if you can see it in the distance, but there is a satellite dish over there. Big, big satellite dish. Oh, there's raiders. Dang it. I don't think we're going to be able to avoid them. We might, but let's just, let's just handle them. Let's get this over with. There's one there. I want that gun. Okay. There's still something else here. Oh, the dog. And another raider with a gun. See over here? Yeah, I see him. I'm out of bullets. I am out of bullets. Well, that's a good thing I, uh, they died when they did. Okay, so bottle cap, round. Take that pistol, take his chest piece. We'll even take that hood and his long johns. Leave you naked out here, buddy. Let the mole rats eat you. Let's turn that flashlight off. Okay, there was a lady up there. There's my shotgun. Short double barrel shotgun. You don't need that bandana no more. Where'd that lady die at? We need to find that corpse. Okay, so I shot her over here somewhere. Well, uh, you know what? Not even that concerned with it. We got the gun that we wanted. And there was someone I shot over here. There we go. Let's take it, pipe pistol, leather armor. Okay, so here's us. We got a gun with no bullets in our hands. And uh, let's change into something different because the Vault 111 really jacked us over, and I don't like wearing their stuff. Okay, Raider chest piece, leathers, sack hood, left arm. 
it's two, one. Yeah, leathers are better. Okay, so we're gonna look all kind of crazy as soon as you. Uh, we probably don't have a lot of bullets for this. Yeah, but anyway, and that's what we look like now. That's kind of a crazy get up. I don't know what all that thing in the front is for. Yeah, we only got one bullet in this thing. Um, so let's head for that right there. Hopefully it won't run into any more trouble. Anyway, this area, by the way, is uh, each place is, represents a real place in Fallout. Like uh, there was one in Washington, one in Las Vegas, you know, so on and so forth. This one is in Boston. Well, the Boston area. Always like to scout around. See that right there? That formation over there? That's where we want to go. That's got the power. And there's a deer over there. Okay. I don't think there's any enemies over there, but it may have changed. You would think that there's mole rats over on the other side of that hill. But there's the power armor sitting here nice and pretty. Notice that the deer kind of look funny. See the two heads? If you get a really good look at them. They're really jacked up looking. they got hooves growing out of their necks. Anyway, let's get in this power armor. So... crawl up in this dude. Yeah. Alright. Now, since we're in the power armor, I think that's where we're going to end this video. And, uh, don't worry, I'm going to keep playing this stuff. Uh, we're going to actually, I'll show you a video. The next video I do is going to be getting the fat man. Uh, it's going to be the same night here. Oh yeah, there's probably something in this vertebrate. I can't remember if there is or not, but... What? Alright, so anyway, I'm going to phase out here for a second.